Uh, Jack's away today. You're the work experience kid. Yeah. Uh, so you want to do the news. How are you feeling? Uh, a bit nervous, yeah. but uh, we'll bit do it. Nervous, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. A bit nervous, Mr. Pacitti. Mr. Pacitti. We would expect this video to do around one to two million views. So if it doesn't do that, I guess you'll be back scrubbing toilets. So uh, good luck, pal. Great. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Fraser from Cultaholic.com, and we've got some news for you today. We've got match rumors for All In. We've got two former WWE superstars backstage at SmackDown, and we have some news surrounding Paul Heyman. First up today, according to reports from PW Insider, Cody Rhodes and Young Bucks have scrapped a match scheduled for All In between Rey Mysterio and Kenny Omega, instead going in favor for Rey Mysterio teaming with Phoenix and Bandido to take on the team of Kota Ibushi and the Young Bucks in a six-man tag match. At this current time, no reason was given as to why this match was scrapped. We can only assume it's because they've got other plans for Kenny Omega, potentially involving a match with Pentagon Jr., the former Impact Wrestling World Champion. Now, this match would put impact against New Japan Pro Wrestling in a battle that fans have probably wanted to see for quite a long time. But will the match be any good? We'll have to wait and see for All In. But who would you like to see face Kenny Omega on September 1st? Let us know in the comments below. And in other news, recently reinstated WWE Hall of Famer Hulk Hogan was backstage at SmackDown in Orlando, Florida. The Hulkster can be seen in photos on Instagram coming just weeks after being backstage at Extreme Rules after he was apologizing to the WWE roster for former comments he's made. At this current time, it is unknown why Hulk Hogan was backstage at SmackDown. However, we do know he stays close by, so he could be just popping in to say hello. Hogan was not the only former WWE superstar backstage at SmackDown. In fact, former Divas champion Caitlyn was backstage as well. Caitlyn uploaded a photo of herself with Big E to Instagram just ahead of her returning to the WWE ring for the upcoming Mae Young Classic. And finally today, WWE released an extended cut of Paul Heyman's interview from Monday Night Raw in which he alludes to potentially screwing over Lesnar for the Universal Championship at SummerSlam. If you haven't seen the interview, you really should. It's a fantastic interview. Heyman is like a shell of the man he was just last week after the attack from Lesnar and just it's must-see programming that one. It's Heyman's last few words in the interview that's got us here at Cultaholic talking. He mentions that there's no way for Reigns to be able to beat Lesnar at SummerSlam. However, he pauses for a moment and says unless before storming out of the interview and not saying any more. Renee Young urges him to continue but he doesn't say anything. He just walks out. Could this be WWE planting seeds for a Heyman turn on Lesnar, allowing Reigns to walk out of SummerSlam as Universal Champion? Let us know in the comments below what you think will happen. And that's all the news we have for today. You can follow me on Twitter here. If you like what we do here at Cultaholic, you can pledge to us on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Cultaholic. And don't forget to hit subscribe and join us.